Hello, it's Lissy. It is Sunday. Oh gosh, July 19th. So I just got a couple suggestions to move where I do my videos. Um, so I usually do them, I have a dining table, and it's just higher, and I perch my, I just do it all on my, my MacBook, but, um, the angle I like over there, but it is, I know the lighting's not great. So now I'm closer, like, here's my window. I don't know if it's better to do it with the window behind me because then there's all that brightness behind me. I think this might be better, but I'm sure you'll let me know. Um, sorry, and now I'm like a little crooked. But I do like the other angle better because I like to be down lower. But anyway, we'll try this. Um, so let's see. So after I chatted you guys up yesterday, I went and met Alicia at um, Neiman's. And I'm going to show you, I have them right back here, the couple things I picked up um, that I had already ordered the previous week. And I've been keeping a running list. I'm trying to, I told you this, I think, I'm trying to be more thoughtful about what I buy. Because I'm, I'm furiously going through stuff and getting rid of like things I just, you know, some things I'm emotionally attached to, but I just don't wear them. Um, so anyway, so I'm trying to get rid of some of those things. And then, like I said, be more thoughtful about what I buy. So I'm trying to kind of keep a running list of the things I want. And so when I was in there last week, you know, I ordered the two things, one of which was on sale and I loved it. Um, so I was happy I got that. And then I also got this skirt that I'll show you, but I had seen another couple things that, um, that were on my mind. So the vicious cycle is that when one has things on one's mind and one goes back to Neiman Marcus, one tries them on, and then, you know, it's like they don't have the size anymore that I need, and so Alicia can order, and she can tell how many are out there. So there's literally, like, there was this coat I wanted, literally, like, one size left in all of Neiman Marcus. And I prefer to do my shopping at Neiman Marcus because I have a Neiman Marcus credit card and you get points. And honestly... <laughs> Shopping pays. <laughs> the points pay. I get lots of like gift cards. Um, like last weekend when I bought those Chloe shoes, I had six or seven hundred dollars in gift cards like saved up. So basically, almost paid for the shoes. Um, anyway, so okay. So anyway, so I went. I got a couple things. I'll show you what I got. So I also, which I don't have, I ordered this one super cool DVF coat like. I don't know what to say about the print. It's a little tribal inspired, um, etro-esque looking, and it has like this like removable fur collar. It's like a mid, like a light, it's like a fall coat. It's not a heavy winter coat. Um, and Alicia had showed it to me last week and I'd been thinking about it and then I tried it on and I tried it on an eight, which of course was small for me, but actually not as small as one might th usually think an eight would be. But, so I decided to go up two sizes to a 12. But there was literally one twelve left in all of Neiman Marcus, so she ordered that for me. And then I tried on, who was it? Rag and Bone? Vince. I forget, this really neat gray, kind of like wool, like lightweight wool jacket that was like reversible so it was a light gray on one side and like a more of a charcoal gray on the other side and I really liked it but I was like this I can wait on and Alicia said well if you're thinking about that let's relook at this other white coat that I had looked at last week that I hadn't tried on so Ellie Tahari beautiful convertible white coat so what I mean by that is it's like it has a zip around like the waist and you can basically zip off the bottom to make it a boxy or short coat or it's like a, you know, maybe, maybe a mid thigh jacket. Um, so that I didn't bring home with me because the sleeves were long, so they're being altered. So I'll show those to you next weekend probably. Well, I should have both, I should, the white coat I'll definitely have back by next weekend. Um, the other one I assume will be delivered by then. So in any event, I'll have a couple more things to show you next week. So anyway, so I went and met Alicia, and then after we did our rounds, oh, and then I am reviewing, I have decided the bag I want to purchase for fall. It's this fantastic Valentino striped satchel, um, multicolor stripes. Like it's, it's very, it's not overly colorful. It's like lots of neutral stripes, but it's one of these bags you can wear with everything. It has black, it has navy, it has camel, it has kind of a deep red. It's really neat. So I didn't, I'm not buying that yet. I'm going to probably buy that next month because Neiman Marcus will inevitably have one of their like 
you know, get a gift card if you spend so much events or get double or triple points or something that will get me a gift card. So basically it's kind of like getting a discount. So I'm waiting for that. Um, so anyway, so after Neiman's, we popped back here so I could dump off my wares. And then we got an Uber and we went over to the waterfront to the Intercontinental Hotel. So when we were there last weekend, the waiter that helps us, Paul, he basically said on Saturdays outside, he does a rosé tasting from three to five. So we went over there to do rosé tasting with him. I thought it was going to be more of like a, not just us, like, a, well, I don't know if it's that there weren't other people there doing it or if you just like sit at your own table and do the rosé tasting. But in any event, we were at our own little table and he poured us three lovely rosés. One was a sparkling rosé, a Nicholas Fiat. And the other two were flat rosés. And he knows our preference for the very light, crisp rosés, not the deeper, a little, not that they're sweet, but not the deeper, a little sweeter ones. So he didn't mix it up, I think, like he would normally for somebody who really wanted to try different things. But we tried two of the flat rosés, the Minuti and the Ot, and they were, I mean, both delicious. Like, it was just a lot. And it, he, they bring, like, a little just a little plate of like, you know, a few bites. Like, so basically there was a kale salad with pomegranate or something like a little, you know, like, you know, just a little bunch of kale salad. Um, a little salmon tartare for me and Alicia doesn't eat fish. So they brought her a beef tartare and then a little like watermelon gazpacho and these, um, taro chips or something like that. Um, so anyway, it was really fun. And while it wasn't beautiful out yesterday, like it was very gray, um, it was nice to sit outside. So then after we left there and we went over to Nebo, which is this restaurant um, kind of just down the road there, and we had a really nice dinner there. Um, we were going to sit outside, but then it started spinning. So we went inside, but we were right in the window. So we kind of had the best of both worlds. You know, we had a good meal there basic mozzarella and tomato. We shared a pizza and we shared a veal milanese. And then, oh, so then, you know, cause we always need one more glass of wine after having like, you know, however much rosé splitting a bottle of wine at dinner. Oh yeah, let's go have one more glass of wine. Great idea. So we used to go in our neighborhood, Alicia and I live very close to each other. We used to go to this restaurant called Hammersley's. Um, it, I think I've probably told you this before. It was a Boston institution. It was in the South End for 27 years. And then they closed last October. Well, the new restaurant in that space finally opened yesterday. So um, we went there just for a glass of wine to check it out. And I have to say, I was very impressed with the service. They reconfigured. They didn't do too much inside. I mean, the look is totally different. They painted the bricks white. They opened up the windows more because at Hammersley's, like all the windows used to kind of be covered over other than the ones in the very front. So it's nicer that way. Um, they made the bar longer, which for a neighborhood restaurant is really good because, you know, lots of people, myself included, like to belly up to the bar. So we didn't eat there, but we had very good service. I was, I was surprisingly pleased. And then that was it. Then I came home this morning. You know, I don't know. It's almost five o'clock. I do not know where the day went. So I got up. Well, I didn't sleep well last night because my bedroom overlooks like other people's back patios like the people in my building who have the patios are below me like my bedroom faces the patio not the street and so if they're out there yapping I hear them especially like I had the windows open it was really nice last night so at like 1 2 o'clock this like the I think it's a couple girls that live downstairs they were out there yapping with some dude who like they weren't that loud but the guy god I could literally I could hear the whole conversation so I was up from like 1 30 to three or three thirty. So I've, I've been tired today, but I got up and out and did my exercise. Um, I don't know. I went to the grocery store. Oh, and what I did is I cooked a whole boatload of stuff. I'd gone to the farmer's market on Friday. I bought zucchini and I made there just recently in the New York times, there was a zucchini Parmesan recipe. So I made that. And then I had at the farmer's market, there was this stand that had like big bunches of fresh herbs for like two dollars each huge bunches of basil huge bunches of mint huge huge bunches of cilantro and i had um did i say this yesterday or am i imagining this anyway i bought all these bunches of um 
herbs and I made a, um, well I used the basil to make some fresh tomato sauce for my zucchini parmesan and then I um, used the cilantro and the mint to make this Thai vinaigrette that um, a couple years ago in Charleston I had at a restaurant and the guy behind the bar was kind enough to like literally give me the whole recipe and it's really good. So I cooked some chicken breasts and like for lunch I had a whole wheat wrap with some like lettuce, cucumbers, chicken and the Thai vinaigrette. It was delicious. Um, and other than that, I'm just hanging around and then I'm going to dinner tonight with my friend Nicole. I think we may try the new restaurant, which is called Banyan, where Hammersley's was, depending on how crowded it is and what's happening over there. And if not, there are plenty of other places like right around here to go. So that's it. And then tomorrow's Monday. It's back to work. But um, I'm going to show you the couple things I got, got. Oh, I can also show you what I'm wearing, I guess. Can you see me? Yeah, hold on. I gotta move this out of the way, I think. See, this is what happens when we try a new spot. We have to reconfigure things. So the casual, it's really nothing exciting. This is a little Moschino skirt. This is basically like a Vince, it's kind of a t-shirt, but it's like not cotton t-shirt material. These are some Gucci little easy sandals. And same bag as yesterday. Balenciaga bag. Just easy. It's Sunday night. You know, who can take too much time? But anyway, this. Okay. This is the Alexander McQueen blouse I got. And I love, like, so first of all, I love the, like, totally exaggerated peplum. I'm, I think I'm really going to like it with some of my leather, like, pants. Um, in the fall. I mean, I can clearly wear this now. It's a white blouse. But it's got kind of like, it's a cotton regular kind of blouse and then it's hard to tell, but the, like right here and the peplum are kind of more poplin material. Um, so this was, you know, originally this was $1,125. Oh, it says $675, but I paid like $350 because it was marked down off of that. So this is like, I mean, this, I love this. And then, okay, this skirt, look at how pretty this skirt is. So it's one of those skirts that's like the weird length, you know, it comes kind of like below the knees. Like, but I really, I love the print. This is, oh, this is ALC. Um... And I think I'm going to wear this with, um, you know, I have those rock studs that are black and white and red. Like, they're mostly red with a white, like, um, kind of piping or whatever, and then the black studs. And I think this will be great with that. And um, I'll wear it with, I don't know, a white top, a black top. I mean, you know, a bunch of colors you can wear with this. So... I had seen this when I was in Charleston. Sandy and I had looked at it in that store, Hamden Clothing. But in the, it was in the window. And it looked like it was a scuba material, but it's not. It's kind of a, um, it's a little stretchy, but it's, you know, it's like, it's not scuba. It's like, I don't know what it is, but blouse material, if that's anything, if it means anything. I don't know. Anyway, so that's that. Um, okay. Okay, so anyway, oh yeah, see the lighting with this, the light right back there I think is too much. It was better the other direction, but we're finishing up now anyway. So that's that. I hope you had a great weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.